Good morning, Turtle Club. Hey, guys, it is 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, which means it is once again time for the Breakfast of the Wild DLC to Electric Boogaloo. I am Mag Synchro with Convertible Turtle Gaming. And, guys, we, uh, you know, we actually made some really cool accomplishment on Tuesday. We got the light cycle. So I figured, because we got the, the really cool master cycle, we need to get the, the Link Cop glasses on for just a little bit. Kind of to get in the character. Hey, Evan Garcia. Thank you. Hello, man. What am I wearing? Well, this right here was actually a gift from one of our fans from Shadow132. This is actually a pair of sunglasses that actually makes you look like Link, the hero who... Yeah, the glasses. Absolutely. If we're going to be looking right in the motorcycle like the, uh, like the sheriff did, you know... Um, you know, like one of those, uh, <laughs> let the people come in, yeah. Yeah, hey guys, good morning to all you. The only problem with this thing that we've noticed in the past, oh, thanks, Efren. It, you know, it, it does look cool. The problem is twofold. One, um, as you can see, I am slightly sight impaired enough to where if I wear these without the glasses, they cause a headache. Um, and if what I've noticed in the last little bit, if I wear them over the glasses, uh, they don't really, uh, one of your favorite outfits came with this DLC. That's cool, Drew. That's really cool. Um, it makes it really hard to play. So I love it. I still think it's one of the coolest things I've received in the mail. Uh, hey, Logan. Uh, that's okay, man. Logan, we totally understand. Life is what happens while we make other plans. Hey, Zachariah, welcome back to your old name, dude. All right. So guys, last we saw, we took on... Well, the equivalent of the biggest, baddest ninja in all of Hyrule. And we wound up coming out on top. So now, uh, we have this destroyed Ganon quest, which, you know, we've already done. Is that Toon Link's Mask? Um, I think it's Toon Link's Mask. I, I think it is Toon Link's Mask. With the, the way it kind of looks. But, and again, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. It's got the official Zelda. It just says The Legend of Zelda on the actual glasses. It does not say which particular Zelda it came from. But uh, since we're going to be doing some stuff on the motorcycle today, I figured we'd grab them out and see what we can do. Okay, enhances a horse's skill and saddle. Hmm. The Highland Stable. So, uh, that makes it really easy. We just go ahead and fast travel to Highland Stable. And right there's Flambe. I mean, that's pretty cool too. The bangs given away. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Um, it's Toon Link, but the question is, is it from Wind Waker or Spirit Tracks or uh, Phantom Hourglass? You know, because Toon Link kind of uh, had his way in all of that. Uh, it could have even been, from what I've seen, uh, Link Between Worlds kind of uses this art style as well. Hey, you know where the pieces are. Well, that's cool, Zekarov. We're doing this spoiler-free. So we're hunting down everything that there is in this particular DLC without spoilers. So if you know where they're at, that's awesome. Um, if I wind up eventually calling Uncle, um, then you can be more than happy. Uh, isn't the same link. Um, okay. Well, I've not played the games, just seen some of the promotional material, and it kind of looks the same. The, the blanket fell behind me, so I had to straighten that up. Uh, hey, yeah, Chadley, how's it going, guys? If you're not familiar with Chadley, uh, Toon Link Summer Vacation by Lexa. Oh, that's pretty, yeah. Yeah, with the sunglasses, I see what you did there. Um, so if you guys aren't familiar with Chadley, Chadley does some family-friendly streaming. Um, does some really cool voices as well. Let's see her birthday, Tracy, bit of concept, ancient horse gear is real, and it's fabulous. Right... Bridal, yeah, da, da Saddle, yeah, yeah. Bridal is south of Hyrule Ridge. Beneath a cherry blossom tree at a mountain where creatures gather. So, south of Hyrule Ridge. Okay, well, that's easy enough. Saddle is a mysterious spring where a horse spirit resides. Oh! Well, that's easy to tell where that goes. Um, so, yeah. So, the... We're either looking for where Flambe's at, which could absolutely be where we got to go, or we're looking for uh, where the uh, Spirit of the Mountain is. So let's go where Flambe is first. Uh, you go for this gear at the start of the file. Well, yes, opponents. We would we would expect no less from opponents' loyalty than to go and get the, the horsiest of the horse stuff. 
Hey, it's Mar Brown. Welcome. Um, you know, it, it does sound like it would be extremely useful. I am not a horse user in this particular game at all. The, the bane of my existence, of course, was, well, <laughs> the, the archery contest was, was pretty, pretty close and spot on. Uh, that almost chewed up most of the stream series at one point. Hey, Princessa, good morning! Good morning, Princessa. We are lovingly pets horse. Yeah, yes, opponents. You you definitely have showed me the best way to do the horse, but um but I just don't I just don't do the horse thing. Is you know, just the way I am. Oh, that's weird, Princessa. Well, I would recommend if you're uh, uninstalling and reinstalling the actual app and then trying from there. I wonder what Melania will do if we show up on a motorcycle. Probably nothing. Well, that definitely answers that question. It just automatically despawns. All right, we got a chest here. Let's go for Magnesis because it's usually how we find chests pretty easily. There we go. Standard practice for an EX chest to be buried there. Uh, eh, motorcycle is not exactly my... It's a horse, basically. Oh, that's okay, Chris. No worries, man. Uh, thanks for stopping in saying hi, though. Well, to be to be fair, the horses can't swim either. Um, so, I guess we can bring this back to the stable. Poor, uh, poor Flambe was burnt alive near Death Mountain. It was led there to its death by us because that's just kind of how we rolled. Love the cycle using the mountains. Okay. Time for a horse to learn how to teleport. Yeah, that's my understanding of the, the saddle and the bridle, is it gives the horse the ability to summon. Kind of torn about the addition of the cycle. I, uh... You know, I kind of am too... Uh, Zelda has always been kind of one of those traditional... Um, fantasy realm stuff, right? Definitely the smallest divine beast for certain, yes. But it is the only divine beast you can ride in. Oh, uh, Logan, yes, yes. We, we uh... We have been very blessed here on the channel that our actual content and our community, um, we, we have a core community. And that's one of the things that I've always been a big um, supporter of for all of us, guys. You know, that's one of the reasons why we have the conversations like we do. We have the chat rules the way we have. Um, and that's the reason why we don't do certain things. You know, like people are always like, Mad, can you do a giveaway? Why don't you have one of those coin bots? Uh, all those kind of things, and truth be told, it all boils down to we want to uh, we want to make sure that the people that are here are here for the right reasons. Have a five-speed seven. Oh wow, HJ HJ, that's that's insane. Oh, she's going to look at our horse, and we can put a different saddle on it with the one we just got it. Yes, please. It should have lots of love. Even though it's been killed once. Yeah, uh, and the fact that you can just spawn it anywhere. I wonder if you can spawn it indoors. So, ancient saddle. There we go. Yes. Oh, let's change the main. I think that fits Flambe, because he survived the fire. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's cool, James. Uh, I've played Skyrim on PC, PS4, Xbox 360. Um, I, I'm, I don't doubt that Skyrim on the Switch is great. I have no doubt. I mean, zero doubt that it's great. But 
Um, I presently own five copies. Like, there are legitimately five copies of Skyrim in my house. Um, if you count the, the digital one for PC that I got. Uh, what happened to her face? Did you see that? No, I did not see that. I was kind of looking at the chat comments for a second. But, um, yeah, there's been some graphic glitches in this game since the DLC came out. I'm not too keen on it, um, but it is what it is, so we got to do what we do. That'll definitely be one that, if it was horses, I would have a long way, yeah. Oh, it's the other NPC, okay. I try to whistle for the horse. Uh, doesn't want to come in the house, but that's not too surprising. So where was the other rumor at here? Do 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 do. The bridle is south of Hyrule Ridge, beneath a cherry blossom tree on a mountain where creatures gather. So Hyrule Ridge. Yeah, I, I figured the outside thing was going to be there. Uh, so where is Hyrule Ridge? My ability to not know where things are. So I'm guessing. If I had to guess, Hyrule Ridge is going to be somewhere near Hyrule Bridge, maybe? Which I always get totally gaffed up on right over here. Um, do to do, do, there's like Hylia, Bridge of Hylia, Temple Time, Mount Hylia. Close to White Horse. Don't you need the bridle? Yeah, that's what I'm looking for, Efren, is the bridle. It's supposed to be south of Hyrule Ridge. And I am just really bad at geography when it comes to fictitious geography that I didn't create myself. <laughs> All right. Okay. Job. Ridge, Tower Peak, Manryu Heights, a narrow range, there's some ranges, but no ridges, Mount Fiora, Mount Drusel, hey do guy, oh Logan, we started playing DLC 2, um, was, was it? Christmas morning, guys? I'm, I, th I think it was Christmas morning when we started. Alright, so... Still looking for Hyrule Ridge. Still really whiffing on where Hyrule... Well, there's a lot of Hyrule named stuff. Hyrule Plains. Hyrule Plain... Rattle Hillside, Grenel Hills, Grenel Peak. Hmm. Good morning, good guy. Zoom out once. Is it going to be that easy to figure out where Hyrule Ridge is just by zooming out one time? Oh, sure enough. All right, so there's Hyrule Ridge, and it's south of Hyrule Ridge. Oh, well, Satori Mountain seems to be the... You passed it twice, yeah. Oh, Victor! Happy snow day! Happy snow day, man. Do, do, do. And why do I get the YouTube survey popping up in the middle of me streaming? That's so weird. So weird. Oh, and guys, it looks like Mikey has spoken up for us actually streaming today. So there's a plus. All right. So we're looking for the cherry tree that's around here. And I know it's near Satori Mountain because I've got a pretty good idea of which particular cherry tree they're speaking of. Hut. Hut. 
Hey, Shadow! Good morning to you, buddy. Glad to see you. All right, so here's our cherry tree. Here's our chest sensor going off. It is saying there is a chest here. Oh, sure enough, there it is. There's a Korok seed near the shrine that you can't find. Ah, okay. Well, that is definitely no go. No bueno. Uh, the guy, give me just a second, and we'll pop up. There's the bridle. Kabam! All right, so... So here is... Yuna Eiko! Welcome to the Turtle Club! Does a Blood Moon go away? Uh, no. No. Uh, Princessa, if you can't type agree in the Discord, that means you've already agreed to the rules. So, you shouldn't have any kind of problems. It just means you're in the rules room. You just need to click on one of the other rooms. All right. So, here are your possible uh, Korok Seed locations here, Dogai. All right. So, we got the horse rumors done. The last thing we need to do now is teleport to our nearest stable. And we should be able to just bridle up somebody over here. Yeah, I, I totally get that, Dogai. Trust me on that. Um, you know, the 900 Korok Seeds was quite a while. Um, on the left-hand side, it should show you the rooms. But you may have to tap on the convertible turtle icon first. All right, so to the stable. Took you a week to collect your last 400 Koroks. HJ, HJ, it will take a while on the Koroks. I, uh, you know, that was the real deal. I thought we had somebody who was going to help us with our, our, our horse here. Yes, 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 but, uh,. Oh, okay, so <laughs> come here, little dude. Aren't you one of the ones that? Nope. Maybe this little dude was the one that does the saddle stuff. Oh, you're welcome, Princessa. I guess this is not one of the places that we can actually get. Our horse gear changed out. Maybe what is one of these dudes? No. Nope. Yes, I did know that. Oh, droppings! Wow. Oh, we'll grind it along on those days to collect. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not this stable. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably uh, head back to the Highland stable in a second. Yeah, being able just to teleport the horse to the stable is kind of cool. I, I have to admit, I do like that. Uh, let's see here. There is the Highland Stable. We know they'll set them up there. Um, there's a couple stables, Logan, that will do it. Um, like, I want to say two or three total. Hey, Dylan! How's it going, man? There's one outskirting Lakeside. Yeah. Yeah, I knew there was like two or three of them. Thanks, no guy. I appreciate that. But we know this one for certain, so we're definitely going to crawl into this one and take a pretty quick peek and get that set up because we, we, we want to make sure that Flambe is treated properly for what Flambe had gotten into. Poor Flambe. Yeah. And once we put the bridle on this horse, the horse should basically become super awesome, right? We want to change the bridle. And we want to put on the ancient bridle, which covers up all that cool hair job we just did. Oh, well. Haven't been on lately. That's okay. That's okay, man. Been sick, internet. Hey. 
I, I, of all people, trust me, I know how that goes. I know how that goes. The girl in Farron who's afraid of thunder. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. All right. So now if we go over here and tell him to stable the horse. Hey. Yes, board horse. That tack can summon the horse over to eventide in the Great Plateau. Oh, that's cool. That's way cool. All right, so now we can see what Flambe's stats are. Um, I don't think those include the bridal bo boost. Interesting. Interesting. So I wonder now that the horse is out. If I go down to Flambe, does it get the, the bonuses there? No, it doesn't. Intriguing. No school due to snow. Yeah, a lot of the East Coast is t getting a lot of snow. Um, and that's, you know, that's just the way it is. I'm the kind of guy who will go to Fry's Electronics just for the candy section. Uh, uh, um, you know, I grew up in Oklahoma. So Fry's Electronics is kind of one of those interesting things, right? I heard wonderful things. It shows when you are cantering. Okay. So let's canter a bit. Now let's canter a lot. <laughs> Sorry. I had the, you know, the, the pun there. I had to grab it. Okay. So Fry's Electronics, I had not, you know, ever been in the one prior to moving to Georgia. I heard all this awesome stuff. World Guard uniform can still be found at Hyrule Castle. We have a reason to go into the castle, guys. We'll probably not go there yet. Uh, someone's traveling with Hood. The Day of Village Ruins is a journal. Okay, so we'll track that one next. So, here is the ruins. If I remember right, this is not a, a friendly way to get there, but I bet I could probably revolve from there, maybe. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking too, opponents. We still got tomorrow for streaming on this particular schedule. Um, but yeah, so never heard of a Friday. So you don't have to go to school till Monday, go Canada. <laughs> there you go, Logan. There you go, man. But uh, so coming to Georgia, I was like, all right, Fry's. I've heard a lot of cool things about Fry's. People have told me it was like a, a Best Buy or a Circuit City or a really, really well-stocked Radio Shack. With really good selection, really good, you know, prices, uh, really good, just really good, right? So, I, uh, before we freeze Link up, we're going to go ahead and put him some warmer clothes on. Boy, if you had the obliterator, wouldn't that be something? I mean, you'd be looking at possibly just dying by spawning into this location if you were absent-minded like I am. Um, so, fries, I was like, alright, so here's something that I'm looking for. Okay, we found fries, we're going to go get this item... Um, I went into the place, and I gotta admit, Turtle Club. Oh, there's a free apple. We'll never turn down a free apple. All right, so let's go ahead and put down a a pin here. Where am I trying to fly to? Oh, just there. We should be able to do that real easily. <laughs> So we, so I go into Fry's, and I'm expecting this really awesome electronic superstore. That that is my expectation, right? That's the bar that's been set by all my friends from Texas, and some of my friends from out east, and a couple of friends out west. That I should be able to go in there and feel like I've had a above Best Buy experience. The fries in Atlanta, um, specifically in the the Alpharetta kind of area of the Atlanta metro, which is, first off, let me point out, that's like a 35-minute drive from where I specifically live in the Atlanta area. Um, I go in there expecting this kind of experience, and I wind up, um, it looks like a closeout store. I mean, I have no better way to say it. I, I wish I wasn't, you know... Harshing on Fry's Mellow so much. But it really, really... 
I, I was not impressed. Um, I've bought a couple things from there. I've returned uh, about what I've actually purchased, unfortunately. And there's been a couple things from Friday that I've kept. Oh, there's the journal, like, right there. Was this book always here? No, it wasn't. But we know that because it's a DLC book. Oh, okay. Six priceless relics. Wow. Right hand of the dragon that consumes the spring of courage at Drokozu Lake. Okay. I got an idea where that is. The blue garb of the hero who controlled the wind and traveled the ocean is where the Minoet River was born. So the mouth of the Minoet River. The helm of the self-proclaimed King of Shadows is in the swamp of the Valley of Dead Trees, south of Dueling Peaks. The evil spirit's armor set is hidden within the Pharaon Sea of Trees. Ugh. That's a whole set of armor. Find these pieces at the highest of three waterfalls north of Lake Floria. At the bridge between small waterfalls over Floria River. And at the broken stone bird of Ibarra Forest. This is way too much information. Ugh, okay. Okay, I'll hopefully, hopefully, um, hopefully I can remember parts of this. Evil spirit's armor set is hidden with fire on sea of trees. Highest of three waterfalls north of Lake Floria. At the bridge between small waterfalls over Floria River. It'll save in your log. Oh, okay. Well, shoot, if it saves in the log. Oh. Well, isn't that handy as all get out? Okay, well, that's good to know. In the right hand of the dragon that consumes the spring of courage at Drakozu Lake. So, Drakozu Lake is like... Right around here. There's the Spring of Courage. Bam. Do you have Zelda's horse? Victor Hercules, welcome to the channel. My name's Mag Synchro with Convertible Turtle Gaming. Um, I'm one of two streamers. The other one's my wife, Digrat, for those of you that are new to the channel. And I have 100% completed this game except for the second DLC. I've actually beaten the final boss of the DLC as it is. And now we're just gathering all the stuff laying around. You would go for the dark armor because it looks cool. Uh, we're going for everything, Logan. We're going for everything, man. So, uh, uh, cool, lame, awesome, useful, useless. Everything that is of those things, we are we are going after it. One of these outfits is your new fave. That's cool. Appreciate all the, the cool factor that this has actually given us. Um... So here is a hand of a dragon, because this giant statue is one just ginormous dragon. Aha! We found you! Come out, come out, come out! You were easier to find than the Korok that was over here, I think. <laughs> Rabio's Hood! Oh, wow. Wow. Increases your sideways climbing speed. How kind of useful. You know, that's always a good question. Um, Shadow is generally really uh, cryptic about what he wants to play. Or see playing. And sometimes Shadow just says, Mag, play whatever you want. And I go, Shadow? Cool. Um, but you know, you never know. Uh, some of that depends also if Shadow currently has time off coming. Uh, where the Minoet River was born. And Let's push the right buttons and get to the map. Oh, all right. So 
So now they're expecting me to know things like Manoa River. It's Halia River. That's Rutalia River. It's no river there. Hickley Woods. With an unnamed river. Hmm. Clearly need to read more. <laughs> Um, Shadow is always lurking. Did you already do the main quest? Oh, Logan, man, we are, we are way 100% through this, man. You see right here, 100% um, completion. Matter of fact, uh, that that's every single thing non-DLC related. If you mean the D, uh, if we've done the main quest of the DLC, we have done that as well. That was completed on Tuesday of this week. So, Coral Lake, Minot River. Okay. So that tells me that we need to go to where this river is born. And that's going to be over this way near Lake Tower. Now, Logan, we are currently at the. I want to say this is the eighth episode for this particular DLC series and yeah we're on episode eight I actually need to update the uh, the placeholder number that I had there um, and before that we had a hundred and nine episodes on the normal mode so we are right now this is 117 episodes for this particular uh, we we absolutely have yeah, if it's something we can do, we have done it in this particular game. And it's a wonderful game. It's a great game. Uh, one of the best that I have ever played. I cannot stress that enough. That this game, I, I, I honestly consider it not to have any equals. Uh, game of the Year voted for just, you know, everything. Uh, even Sony voted it their non- PlayStation Game of the Year, which is a, a pretty pretty good accolade in my opinion. Hmm. Yes, every day there will be a scavenger hunt until the anniversary of the channel. Scavenger hunts are posted after the stream series. Boom. That was actually Darut killing that thing with prejudice, not me. So this is definitely where this river's born, one would say. Maybe actually more closer that way. So we'll we'll just kind of jet set over this way. All right, and haha. -ha. Got to do some tag teaming over here. Yes, that is Dylan. You may know him from the Skyrim streams when he comes in and watches Dig Rat and Fred do their thing. And if you are a fan of Dig Rat, I highly recommend making sure you catch up on last Sunday's stream. In my opinion, it was one of the funniest. Oh, it's the Island Lobster shirt. Oh, wow, that's cool. That's cool. Heat resistance down. Oh, that, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. So the Wind Waker shirt. New Super King. Swamp of the Valley of Dead Trees, south of Dueling Peaks. So here's Dueling Peaks. This is, I think, the Swamp of the Valley of the Dead Trees is what they were talking about right there. So I think we just fly from there to there. That's the funny thing, Catwater, is uh, when Dylan changed his name, he realized that he has to wait, like, a, I think it's a month, he said, before he can change it back. Because he changed his, his name too much. So, he gets to be Lechonkla for a while. 
He is the flip flop. I know, right? I know, and trust me, I, I know all about that. Have you watched any new anime? Logan, uh, last anime that I watched was uh, K the Return and Tiger and Bunny. Uh, both of those really good animes. I, I uh, Between the two, I really recommend uh, Tiger and Bunny. It was kind of more my thing. I did read or watch uh, My Hero Academia. Um... Unfortunately, I kind of fell out of it for a bit, mainly due to the fact that it is subtitled to the, the episodes I was watching got up to subtitles, and unfortunately where I work, that's where I do a lot of my, my views on it. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, that is definitely a, a child raising technique that some people use, threaten to throw la chancla. Um, yes. And growing up in Oklahoma, that is a phrase that I heard a number of times. First things first, make sure that we don't have anything that's going to get us fried, maybe. What's Tiger and Bunny about? Tiger and Bunny is actually um, about a world with superheroes. Um, and the world of superheroes, it, it's superheroes are so widespread that they are the normal form of law enforcement. And being the normal form of law enforcement, they have actually kind of evolved the same way law enforcement in our country and uh, the United States has. Zant's helmet. Wow. Unfreezable. Wow. That is, that is, wow. Okay. I like having a one-piece unfreezable. That's, that's nice. Um, God, we're kind of busting right through these. This is going to be hard, though, because we have three pieces to find now. All right. Find the pieces at the highest of three waterfalls north of Lake Foyar. But so, in well, here's Lake Furia, and here is basically where we're supposed to travel to. Um, so yeah, it is is basically um, so the world kind of evolved the way it did here. But the really cool thing that happened with the superhero thing in Tiger and Bunny is the exploits of the superheroes became. Basically, cops. Think Dog the Bounty Hunter, cops, that kind of thing. And there's a point system for who is the coolest superhero for the season of crime. And the story starts off with a, a veteran character who is Tiger um, winding up with a actual partner named Bunny. Um, and that's basically the, the story in a nutshell. And it just goes from there. Alright, so what we need to do is we need to get over to our clothing. And... Yeah, those just do swim speed. I wish they would do the waterfall thing, but they don't. Oh, that's cool, Logan. That's a good way to uh, test your skill level with things. Swimming... You'll have to jump some ramps with the bike. Um, I might try that. It'll probably go horrible. But I'm not going to rule anything out, you know. Alright. I don't quite think this is where the EX chest will be. Ah, oh, there it is. Yeah, that was kind of my thoughts too when I first saw it. 
the guy was Zootopia ass, but it's not. It's uh, it's very superhero anime. Well, that's not an EX chest. That's just a regular everyday chest. Yeah, I, I'm trying to get that idea. Ready. Oh, there's a few. Whoops. We need to get up out of the water. Before we wind up drowning, absolutely need to get out of the water. And on the plus side, as we go through all these chests, we'll become moderately richer than what we were. Da, da, da. Might as well open them. Another purple rupee! Hey! I bet you it's the one right in the middle of the, the lake, because why not, right? Well, you can't argue with 10 free arrows, though. I guess you can, but there's just no reason to. That's a rock? Uh, it could be a rock. Yep, it's definitely a rock. That's the Charlie Brown rock. Oh well. We'll put the ball in the cup. Now we've opened those. So what's the quest hint say again? At the highest of three waterfalls north of Lake Fioria. Okay, so this is definitely at the highest of three waterfalls. Because here is one waterfall. Well, maybe they mean the actual waterfall. And not that. Maybe they mean Floria Falls, like right, right here. Yuck. That's probably what they mean. Look around the way from the water. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yep, yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Hey, we can get a friendly ride from a dragon. Um, first off, we just got shocked, which is not shocking at all. Did we drop anything? Just use this for a nice little aerial boost there. All right, so here we go. That could be the highest of three waterfalls. I mean, because that one and that one. So we'll go check it out just to be sure. Thanks, Terry. No problems there, man. All right, up here. All right, take us a deep breath. Hey, Niall, how's it going, man? <laughs> Catwater, the comet destroyer. Oh, no, Catwater is not the comet destroyer. But she is doing her job to keep the chat civil and to keep everything in order and the rules maintained. That is what Catwater's job is as one of her awesome mods. So, not seeing one here. This is still north of the lake. Thought that was possibly the highest one, but maybe not. 
Maybe not. Maybe we need to go this direction. All right, so... Well, we were, we were kind of tuning into a chest, but maybe not. Hey, Hawk, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel, my friend. We are tracking down the EX chest, having defeated the... <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, sometimes when I, when I see the comments... <laughs> I, uh, we try to keep the chat as clean as possible. You know, I, and I, that's one of the things, guys, you know, when you see the, the mods doing their job and doing their, their stuff, keep in mind, the only reason why the mods are re enforcing certain rules is because that is the rules that were set forth by the channel. Maybe, I doubt this chest has anything to do with what we're looking for, but we're going to, we're going to peg it anyways. Um, oh, that actually looks like it's got EX on it. Sweet! Awesome! Ha, well, thank you, LaChonkla. That's the one, Sandra, thanks! Ooh! That looks pretty spiff! Um, I gotta put that on for a second. That's... Okay, that, 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 okay. That's pretty, that's pretty cool looking. I, I can't argue with that. That, that's, that's pretty awesome. Um, all right, back to our quests. So, at the bridge between small waterfalls over Floria River. All right, bridge over between small waterfalls. Floria River. So, here's the river. This looks like small waterfalls. So it looks like we're going to go to the tower. Uh, two duders. Nah, I didn't steal your friend's YouTube name, man. I've had this name for quite some time. It's also my Steam name and a number of other names. It's been my business name since 2013. Um, so, yeah. Um, I don't know who your friend is, but uh, definitely did not steal their name. All right. So, Sarjon Bridge is what I'm guessing, guys. And, again, that's just a guess. Let's see here. Do I, do I have any pins laying around here? Nope, no pins. Bam, boom. Hey, Victoria. Work in the morning. All right. Uh, appreciate that, Victoria. Oh, yeah, that helmet absolutely, absolutely looks cool. Uh, glad to see you, Victoria. Totally understand, you know, real life doing what it does to us. Um, you know, just keep on plugging away at it, though. Keep on plugging away at it. Oh, that's awesome, Chadley. Yeah, if you guys are familiar with Chadley, he does, he has a really awesome, uh, I, I, I dare say cooler than me, uh, Breath of the Wild stream, mainly because he does some voiceover work for all the characters. So, whereas I get into zany actics, uh, his is very well narrated, and uh, I, I would dare say better narrated than my game. All right, so here we go. Here's the bridge. <laughs> for some magnesis magnesis action all right so maybe the chest is under Aha! Sneaky, sneaky! Boom! Come on! Just a little bit over, and maybe not. No! Okay, Flambe, okay. I'm about, I'm about to say, Flambe doesn't want to be here. No! Come on! Open! Open! 
or not. It was hitting pretty decent. There we go. Hey, Wolfy Wolf. Welcome to the channel, man. Phantom Ganon Armor. Okay. So, more stealth up. So, I don't think there's any other stealth duplicates. So, all right. Run my chest. Yeah, I wish Bomb Arrows worked in the rain. You know, I kind of do and I kind of don't. If Bomb Arrows did, in fact, work in the rain, I probably would have killed myself a little bit more often with Bomb Arrows. Broken Stone Bird of Ebara Forest. Oh, that's cool. Um, you see me in a live stream before completing the game. Way cool, Wolfy Wolf. Uh, well, welcome to the channel, ma'am. Uh, appreciate you coming in, dropping a like, saying stuff, whatever you want to say. Uh, you're new here, though. Yeah, that, that's not a problem at all. All right, so Ebara Forest. And yet another thing where I always find it funny, you know, because the game's like... Oh, you've explored all of Hyrule. Congratulations. You know exactly where everything is. Let's tell you to go to a bar of forest. You know where that is. It's that forest with the trees at the place near the thing with the other things. And I'm like, uh, no. Yes, I do have bomb arrows equipped. I do. I totally forgot that it did not work in the rain as well. Um, but, and I, sh I used two of them. In Fiora, though. Okay. Oh. Okay. Duh. All right. Back over here. Hey, there's a bar for us. What do you know? <laughs> Read the comment mag at the Broken Stone Bird of a Bar of Forest. So, a bar of forest, Broken Stone board Bird, somewhere in that area. Oh, and there's even like a handy little shrine right there. This one stands out the most once you get there. Ooh, good to hear that. Good to hear that. Brah, I do have a Switch. So, uh, congrats. <laughs> I've had a Switch since April 2017. I don't know why you've taken so long to, for it, but, but I got one. All right, so... We're going to save quick. <laughs> Thanks, Chadley. Um, yeah, uh, recently I actually also got a Xbox One. Uh, what's my name on Switch? Wolfie Wolf. You can do exclamation join and Nightbot will tell you what's going on there. He'll let you know exactly what my actual Switch code is for public streaming. You have a Switch too? Awesome, Drew. You know, I, I got a funny feeling that inside the Turtle Club, I have a pretty good idea of who all's got a Switch because we all have it tagged like that. Um, Sandro, I... I simply adore, adore the actual Pro Controller. Um, and, and I'll show you why real quick. One second, guys. Um, left, right on this controller. Yes, A1 ready. Boom. All right. This is me gripping a Joy-Con. I mean, look at this. This is this is the Joy-Con. Um, this is me gripping the Pro Controller. I am able to palm a Joy-Con. It, it just it's it's night and day. Dudes with big hands like me, uh, the Joy-Con is like this tiny little fragile thing. I feel like I'm playing Tea Party with a, uh, a niece or a nephew. And it's just not one of those things that actually, you know, helps. Um, so somewhere around here is a broken bird statue. This looks like a broken bird statue. Yes, yes, absolutely. I confirm that the Switch Pro Controller is great. Yeah, yeah, Sandra. Uh, and and you know it does the uh, you get the the motion control still with it, um, and the battery life on it is pretty top notch. I I have to say that I can usually get away with about ten hours of gameplay. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, Rainstorm Z. Um, see, if you have smaller hands, 
then there's definitely an argument to use the, the Joy-Cons. Um, oh, there it is. It didn't stick out nearly as much as I was hoping it was going to, but we got it. So, but yeah, you don't mind using Joy-Cons. Your fingers are above average in stubbiness. Well, see, and that happens, right? I mean, but this is, this is me gripping the Joy-Con, and there is still... I mean, I can actually hit with my middle finger the button on the Joy-Con. Hands are much smaller. Use the Pro Controller. Yes. People with smaller hands can use the Pro Controller just great. People with large hands, the, the little Joy-Cons, not exactly what I would call good. Give me just one second, guys, while I redock the Pro Joy-Con there. Okay, so we have like five minutes left. Riverside Stable, here we come. And there's nothing wrong with liking the Joy-Cons. Let me let me get that out of the way a, a billion times. There is nothing wrong with um, having the Joy-Cons. The Joy-Con holder, um, this thing here, it does make a difference in the fact that I get carpal tunnel, basically. I mean, so here is here again, where my hands naturally rest is like my thumbs touch, my my index fingers touch. Uh, so even if I w were to play correctly, they they don't rightly go where they need to go. Um, and the other thing with the Joy-Con holder and the Joy-Cons in general is the placement of the buttons um, feels a little off. It, it absolutely can be a personal preference, though. Now, one thing, though, and I can't also stress this enough, is uh, what happened. I don't think anything happened. And, I, and it's just something that I'm going to just pull up really, really fast while I'm doing this. Because it's a, it's a question we get a lot. Is the Joy-Con, is the, is the Pro Controller worth it? Here is every other game system controller on the market they're all shaped the exact same way so um, there's a lot to be said for muscle memory I mean this has the same button placement as basically this as basically the Ouya controller as basically the Xbox 360 controller I mean, there's a number of controllers that all have the same kind of shape. Uh, yeah, if you have big hands, absolutely get the Pro Controller. If you're used to playing on any other um, current-ish game system, again, I really recommend the Pro Controller. Feels natural if you've got a... Yes, it does. It does. Um, and yeah, it, it, it does. It's absolutely worth it. Now, uh, hey, Matthew Brasmock, or... Brom Kolk, sorry, I, I butchered your name. Did not mean to do that. It just kind of happens when I when I talk words. Um, as far as the pro controller goes, uh, to do history buff, tidbit, great calamity, role of guards, protected royal family, high royal soldiers, equipment they were, yeah, 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 dining hall, guards chamber, and on the second floor. All right, boom. So first things first, we're going to get on our exploratory cap which is Jorah's Mask. Yeah, absolutely good music. Absolutely good music. Originally used dissuaded only for the 90... Yeah, the price point is... I mean, let, let's let's be let's be reasonable. Let's be reasonable. It is definitely... I mean, for the size and the weight and the, the design and everything, it is not inexpensive at all. Um, thumbstick range of movement is also much better on the Pro. You are correct. The finesse you can use with it, the accuracy with it, it's just, yeah, it's weight as well. Um, they did. They absolutely did, Chadley. They, they packed a whole lot of tech in there. Oh, the guy, you're right. I need to uh, I need to swap some stuff out real quick. And, yeah, the battery lasts real long on it. Um, I could probably keep this off the charger for a week, and it would be good. That said, I put it on the charger when I'm done with every stream because the last thing anybody wants to see happen is me have to scramble for the Joy-Cons again like we did on one stream. Okay, I gotta say, that's a pretty awesome outfit. 
And since we're going to be running around with Majora's Mask anyways, we can wear most of the outfit on while we're going around. Um, but yeah, uh, so it, it is absolutely cool. Um, but yeah, that said, the one thing you need to keep in mind, if you're going pro controller shopping, there are some wired ones. Hori does make a wired controller. Not enough cycle action. Oh, can I actually, can I, can I spawn the cycle in the castle? Nope, I can't. That would be awesome, driving the castle. Boom. Drop that. You're my buddy. You ain't ever going to kill me. You know that. I know that. Let's keep it that way. Yep, going for the world gear. And you know, I'm I'm thinking, guys, I'm just going to go ahead and grab it today. I know we usually stop streaming at 9. Um, but we're going to grab it. Yes, it looks very Ganondorf-esque. I agree uh, a thousand percent with that assessment pizza ball. Phantom Ganon Mag versus Ganon. Ow, oh, we know exactly how that would wind up. Uh, I would probably crush Phantom Ganon eventually. Gonna grab it today. I like that there's not much people chatting so the chat doesn't go too crazy. Well, you know, uh, that is definitely one thing, Wolfie Wolf, that we like here. Uh, it's not so much that there's not too many people chatting. Uh, it's just that our mod staff uh, in our channel, we we do we do handle a, uh, I like to say we kind of handle a pretty tight ship. All right, so we are we are getting close to the dining hall, which we know has a treasure chest in it, according to the little clues. Hey, Blazing Scepter, welcome to the channel today again, man. Ha ha. All right. This appears to be the guard room. We somehow missed the dining hall. I know we're nearby it because we've been in here like three or four times in our life now. I am totally with you there, Dugai. Now I do know from a video that my former supervisor at work showed me, you can absolutely fight the final fight on the cycle. So there is that. Okay, well somehow we've missed the banquet hall. Oh, that would be pretty cool. That would be pretty cool. You know what would be really awesome is if the actual cycle had a sidecar, and you could actually have someone riding in the sidecar with you. I think that would be pretty, you know, awesome. I'm sure Nintendo didn't think that went all the way through, though. If I was going to do something goofy, or maybe not. Hmm. So let's go back to the dining hall guards chamber and on the second floor. Huh. Yeah, flambe in the sidecar. Yeah, in the go. There you go. Uh, yes, Wolfie Wolf. We have uh, we are actually working on the last pieces of this DLC as we speak. Welcome back with the sausages, opponents. We're just coming the castle. You want the sidecar more widely used? They look great. Yeah, oh yeah. Second floor is so vague. Yeah, second floor is kind of like, and then somewhere, find an elevator and push the number two button, and you'll find the chest we speak of. I'm like, um, that doesn't sound really solid, but okay, whatever you guys say. Hmm. 
Nope, not that room. Oh, well, there we go. With the Dark Master Sword. Cool. Don't tell them what the game is implying. Okay, okay. Don't know how to use my Nintendo on Switch. Please help. Uh, Jason Haskins, I recommend going to Nintendo.com or using Google. They are going to be the best people for the job in that question. All right, second floor. Me too, no spoilers. Yeah, spoiler free, guys. Spoiler free. Here is the dining hall. This is where all the dinner is served. Is it on the balcony of the dining hall, maybe? Wow, there's something we missed the first time we ever came into this game. Nifty. Let's just pull that down for a second and drop it. Wow. say near didn't it uh, I was afraid you guys were gonna say something like that uh, hidden near the dining hall okay in the guards chamber and on the second floor okay so let's go outside of the dining hall where this okay so the shrine the treasure chest locator is getting us kind of closer Seems to indicate it's this way. So. Not sure this is going the direction we really think it should be going, guys. Hmm. Don't remember where the dining hall one is. That's alright. Oh, that would be because they are our moderator, a Wolfie Wolf. If there is a wrench beside a person's name, that means there's somebody that I trust to make sure that the community conversation stays the way it needs to stay. And it means that they have done something for this channel to prove to me that that is how they are. So, we got some pings. And they s get weaker when we go this direction. So it's got to be down this way somewhere. Hmm. Maybe not. That's okay, Wolfie Wolf. No worries, man. No worries. We, we have no problem. We'll be more than happy to answer any questions you might have. So, near the dining hall is becoming... Um, I need to go up a floor rapidly. Incendio! Hey, how's it going? So... I, too, love chatting on live stream. It's one of the reasons why I stream. That looks like a chest. It looks like an EX chest, possibly. We are definitely... Oh, nope. We are sad. Okay. 
Yes, Savage Slayer, this has two really good DLCs. Uh, where's my monster? Oh, man. Monsters are for uh, when we start the shift at work now. We don't drink them anywhere near as much as we used to. Uh, we cut back down to two. I got the dining hall armor already. Oh, okay. Huh. So that means we didn't get... I, I could have sworn that was the guard's room, but I guess not. So... We have to go and try to find... The rest of the armor. Uh, mug of the day is actually cup of the day at the moment, and it's a Olaf in the summer cup. Boom. Revali's gill. Well, that was unfortunate. We wasted a, a Daruk. Oh, keep it. Well, we would definitely want to try to keep it spoiler free as best as we can. Um. But if we don't find it in about the next five minutes, we'll probably take a clue. A human! Hey! Long time no see, man. Long time no see. Glad to see you on the channel again, dude. I'm guessing you are currently home because it snowed a whole lot where you're at. that one. That one hurt. Oh. Oh. Time to get us some of that good food we cooked forever ago, guys. A lot of people related to Zelda as Minecraft? Wait, what? It was the chest next to the Black Master Sword. Okay. Uh, to tell a lot of people to, 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 uh, got Breath of the Wild for Christmas. Oh, cool. Way awesome, human. I got to get better at that. Yeah, the uh, the parrying thing, I got to get better at, too. I, I'm still not master class by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but I do know one thing is I'm about to get electrified. Do I have any shockproof stuff? Nope. Okay. Let's really quick. We have anything that's going to avoid us getting killed. That will help us. That will help us. And that'll help us. I think the Guardian Shields auto parry. Nope, they don't. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Um. There we go. Cool beans, man. DLC's really good. Alright, so... Finding new objective. Why do you mean finding new objective? We didn't want to find a new objective. We are trying to find an old objective. That's on when you're not at the castle. Okay. Huh. Well, let's be smart about this. Let's let's go around here. This is a chest. All signs point to it being either on top or inside this. Oh, here we go. Right here. It's not an EX chest, though. Okay. Um, Inside the castle is the best thing I can tell you, man. Is Mag in trouble? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I'm not in trouble. I, uh... I might need to parry that, though. 
Might need to parry that a little bit better than last time. Oh! Yep, yep, no gatehouses. Okay, that's good. Uh, it's inside the castle, man. Oh! The Rook's protection fired up at the right time. This is almost going to be a Mipha's Grace stream, and uh, it, it wasn't, so there is that. <laughs> All right, let's go eat us some food. Boy, we're, our timing with parries are just bad. They used to be really, really good. All right, way cool, way cool. Um, Human, it's going to be, yeah, way down, way down. All right, so it's in the castle proper for these chests, so not the gatehouses. So we definitely need to go... Um, um. Oh, rip, ripperoni. Come on. All right, one more, one more. Now, it's not master mode. We, we uh, all of our fun stuff we're doing in, in, in big mode. Master mode we did, and we, uh, on our master mode game, we did a three heart run. Pairing at a distance, yeah, it can be tricky. It can be tricky. All right, so. Still not detecting. Oh, we're detecting a chest now. Maybe they mean like uh, like Zelda's lab or something. Well, they would they would have just said the lab, I think. They can't mean the inner sanctum because uh, got the first one ready when needed. Still saying there's a chest this way. Of course. Trovali's Gale is down. Oh, we're in at the Sanctum now. We can't go inside, because if we do, bad things will happen. We'll have to fight Ganon. Ugh, no fighting Ganon today. Have you heard of Heart Durian? Uh, yeah, we've, we Hardy Durian. We don't have a reason for it. There's, yeah, yeah, the sensor will be absolutely be iffy. Um, I'm just trying my best to follow it. I know if it's nearby the Sanctum, it's it's going to be kind of, yeah. Uh, yeah, but Heman, if you cook one hearty durian and you have the hearts that I have, it'll give you full hearts anyways. Yeah, it's probably time for hot and cold, guys. The roof um, ready to roll. I'm trying to remember where the guard room is. Feeling like it's definitely not here. Well, maybe it is. Oh, we definitely need to eat one of these foods. First off, you're getting warm. Okay. Well, that's good. That's good. That's really good. I like the getting warm thing. Assuming I don't go into the main floor, I'll be all right. Well, I, I know that I have a habit of toddling off like a like a toddler, so we definitely want to be careful with where we go. Second floor. All right. Well, this I'm not sure where the first floor is in relation to where I'm at. So, in my opinion, this is kind of like the second floor, right? I think particular room is cool. Well, that's cool. Well, 
that looks like a whole lot of nope spaghetti down there, guys. Huh. Drop. Uh, the hole. I... Okay. We're going to save. We're 99% we're sure that this is going to be some, some nope spaghetti. But, uh... Oh, wow. Was not even aware that this was a room in the first time we came through this. Look at all that. Look at all that. That is... That is definitely some nope spaghetti there. Okay. All right, so... The guardhouse. Once upon a time, I remember where all this stuff was. Probably another chest here. Yeah. Um, the guard room. Not quest chest, but you know, yeah, yeah, nope. Yeah, no, exactly. That's... That's like, you go in here and you're like, yeah, that's death, that's destruction, that uh, that's fun. That is not Link's summer home. We need to go somewhere else. Alright. You pass this to get the final Korok. Yeah, I, uh... I am uh, well aware of that little factoid. Because the final Korok was all the way at the top of the spire. I just did not remember seeing that particular brand of Dear gosh, it's going to kill us. Oh, here's some stuff to loot. Ganon root, yeah. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. When you're dodging Ganon, but you're also dodging all the guardians, yeah. Alright, so, the guard room, where do I go for that? Well, I know we don't go there, because that's still Sanctum, right? Hmm. You don't know what happened to the chat stream? Uh, do Blood Moons respawn mundane chests? Uh, yes, they do respawn some chests. Ice cold. Ice cold. Okay. So. Maybe so that's the dining area. So let's just run this way. If I'm ice cold, then we definitely need to head toward the front of the castle. Because that would be presumably the opposite direction of ice cold. Very, very South Pole cold. Okay. Let's just leave you blind for a bit. Andre 3000 square. <laughs> Oh, way well, cool, Logan. You know, that's always awesome. If you're wanting to play right alongside me, that's always a, a possibility. So you can fight Ganon over and over again. Uh, yeah, um, Ganon doesn't technically die on the other side of a save file. When you kill Ganon, the save file becomes save file plus. Getting warmer. I like getting warmer. 
with it being like 23 degrees outside, getting warmer is definitely kind of what we're going for, guys. That looks like part of the castle. Ravioli away! Let's try to see if there's a way inside here. Here's a way inside. Colder, okay. What's real fun about the warm cold game, of course, is stream delay. With stream delay, was I warmer when I read the message? Or was I colder when I read the message? I think I'm getting colder again. Warmer when you are heading down. Alright. That is the kind of stuff that helps a lot more in most cases. Let's see here where I'm at. Oh, I think I see. I think I remember where I gotta go. There's like a prison cell over here or something. You can't even spell your own state? Oh, that's alright, Hammond. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, we thought we had Derek's protection. No, we didn't. Managed to type the second one. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Did you guys see that? That was, uh... Okay. We need to get away from that thing. That thing, like, freaking, wow. That was like the closest thing to a machine gun guardian I think I ever saw. It, it aggressively wanted to kill me. Like, it was rightly after me. That was very brutal. <laughs> that was, I don't think I've seen a guardian that aggressive. <laughs> that was pretty bad. And the really bad, I, I know, right? And the really horrible part, right, is it Derek's protection is supposed to reflect the blast back. So it took three of its own blasts and then broke my shield. Speaking of which, let's get a different shield on. Wow, that's, yeah. All right. So somewhere over here is a way back into the castle. I think this is going to be our best way. Right up here. All right, so we're back in the dining hall. So we need to find the guard house. Yeah, I think the hint will be appropriate at this point in Mortal Hawk. I... I'm of the opinion that now that I'm back in the castle, I, I should be finding it at some point. I still feel like this is the guardhouse. It's definitely inside the castle, not on the outside. That's definitely a good plus. In the guard's chamber. See, this seems like it's the guard's chamber. Cavalli's gale is now ready. I mean, it's got all the guards' items in it. The roof's protection is now ready to roll. Guardhouse is above prison. Okay. Well, that's actually not a horrible clue. Um. Okay, I think I know where I'm going now. I'm climbing the door, apparently. It's not there. There are three silver Lizzo's in the room. Okay. My life is a lie. Welcome to the Total Club. I've got a funny feeling that this is going to be the last place I look. 
If I had to guess, I think Guardians enter a mode where they take a hard enough hit the auto fire response. Oh wow. That's that's a uh, it's not a horrible thought process. It's not a pleasant one to think about too much. Okay. So, there's the passage that gets me there. I want to say that this area there is the prison. So, I'm like on the wrong side of the map altogether. Saying so you get back out. I don't have all the really cool passages yet. This might help. And we've officially come outside the castle again. Well, that only hit me enough just to briefly set me on fire. Oh! Wow! Okay, we're gonna have to do that when we find Elizos because that's just too awesome. And clearly something we've not done on stream before, so. All right. So, let's see here, we are Approaching. Okay, there's a door over here. Max should be in the next mission and possible. Hut. That's the way this particular quest is starting to kind of feel like. And, you know, it doesn't help the fact that I, I don't remember where exactly the prison is, but. I think I feel like I'm getting close to where the prison is. Because doesn't it have that weird kind of funky secondary entrance? Hey, Fox! Oh, thanks, Fox. Yeah, man, grew that out for No Shave November, and it usually hangs around till about April. Um... I also fight over food sometimes. Okay. Well, that's the castle walls. Digging the lumberjack beard. Haha. <laughs> oh, thanks, Eben. Thanks. Oh, I just need to find a gel cell worthy of being arrested in or something like that. Alright, so here is. All right, I think I'm getting closer to where I have an idea or an inkling where I might be. Maybe not. <laughs> Haven't watched so long you forgot you had one or not. Uh, Heeman, I used to have a goatee, and that's usually what I grow out once it gets warmer, is a goatee. Uh, usually once it gets too warm for the facial hair, I, I, I shave it all down so I can feel the cold side of the pillow again. Love the cold side of the pillow even seen a moblin throw a bokoblin at you? Yeah, I've seen that. Ugh. You guys with the shooting and the anger issues and the violence. And all I want to do is find your prison cell. And unfortunately, since you guys are not keen on arresting me, I have to kind of like find it myself. 
Oh, that's pretty cool. Maybe the prison's not behind this pillar, but. Kind of feel like it's over there, maybe. When you come to the gateway, there's an entrance to the right you can take. Okay. So. Are we talking that gateway right entrance or that gateway right entrance? I think we're talking that one. Because that's what I, I'm pretty much remembering that, so. So this is the this is the gate that we're trying to get into. This is the prison. Okay, what is shooting at me? That's shooting at me. You there, go away. Tired of that. <laughs> Tired of getting shot by that thing. Alright, so that's a prison gate. Here's the other one. And this shuts on us after we come through. Which is fine. And so we've been told that this thing will eat a bug. Do we have a bug defeated? We sure do. We have a cold darner. Here, eat a bug, dude. Eat a bug. Eat it. Eat it. Ah. Good Lazapos. Oh, wow. Um, you know, it, it could be. It may not be. You, you never do know. All right. So the guard's chamber. Finally. Oh, wow. Hmm. Lots of explosions. No, nope, not lots of explosions. Just those office that we're going to stab. Stabity, stabity, stabity. Stabity, 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 stabity. And stab you some too, because why not? Stab you more. You never want this to end. Well, you know, we do stream a lot of other games, and we understand that some people, you know, enjoy other games other than others. Any help from you or anyone, really? <laughs> Shooting water at me, huh? You think that's smart? You think that's the best thing you can do? I got news for you, little lizards. You're about to go blow up. You're blowing up. I think that's all of them. I think they're all dead. Any help from you or anyone really on where any treasure is? Oh, uh, well, the best help I can recommend, man, Heeman, is uh, as far as treasures go, man, I've officially caught and found every piece of treasure in this game as of right now. So, uh, that being the case, the, the best hint I can give to you for any of the EX stuff, any of the extra stuff, any of the memories, is to go through and watch all 117 episodes, if you're looking for treasures. Um, eventually, I plan to... Oh, posh, there is no such thing as overkill. There is simply open fire and reload. Dead is dead. Uh, once you're once it's dead, it can't be dead anymore. So yeah, good game, guys. 
That definitely is... Oh, no problem at all, Drew. We, we had just this much to go. So, yeah. So, light them up, up, up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely, opponents. We are going to try on the set because we've spent all that time getting it. Um, yeah, this set here definitely looks cool. That helm makes me look like a lizard person. Um, yeah, I, I, I think we're just going to go with our favorite set, guys. Oh, well, Logan, I, uh, I don't usually always go to Discord afterwards, but I do recommend everybody going to Discord afterwards because of the new thing that we're doing this month as a celebration for our one-year anniversary, which is coming up on January the 30th. Um, we are doing a scavenger hunt in our Discord. Every day we're posting a new scavenger hunt question. Uh, Ted, they're all... Um, gotta be honest, Ted. I have slept a lot since the last time you and I have talked, probably, man. Uh, well, you did change the time. I thought you started at 9. Uh, human, I start at 8 a.m. Eastern. Um, so if you are not in the United States, we do have daylight savings, so things do bounce around for those who are not in the US. Uh, we are actually changing our time. And so that uh, that also will probably be the reason why things are gonna be a little weird. Exclamation schedule will show you what the new schedule is. And that new schedule officially starts uh, this Saturday. Um, yeah, I on nine on Fridays will be the new schedule for Friday. And then it will be 8 on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, unfortunately, we will not be streaming. Uh, my office job, unfortunately, has gotten in the way a bit on that. And you guys know exactly what time it is. Now, tomorrow will be 8 a.m. Because Saturday is when the new schedule starts. We're going to do the shield dance, guys. Because it's the dance party. Yeah. Bam! Yeah. Guys, 900 Korok seeds. Unlimited dances with Hetsu. Totally, totally worth it. Boom, 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 boom. Yep, time for the broccoli dance. Is it uh, Majoro's Muffin tomorrow? I think so, guys. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Weapon stash will be the last one ever, guys. Yeah. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> one of the best things, guys. Down right there. Infinite broccoli dances. So many hours caught. So worth it. Gets the blood pumping just thinking about it. And then, of course, heading to the house. Ha, <laughs> thanks, Indigo D, for the, for the Hetsu explosion. And thanks to all you guys for coming in to watch. It is bittersweet again. See you, Logan. Thanks for hanging out. Um, guys, coming in to watch, I, I still, you know, we have a 2,000... 121 members in our turtle club and a year ago <laughs> a year ago i had like two subscribers on the 30th of january and none of them were even dig rat i mean i mean you got to think about that you know my, my wife she'd come and watch she was new to youtube i was new to youtube every time that i would be streaming she'd have to have me send her the link because she wasn't subscribed to the channel um and now we have 2,121 guys and girls that are watching our content on a, a, a weekly basis. Um, it just humbles me. It, it really does. I know it humbles Dig Rat. And guys, we, we can't do it without all you guys. Without you, we're just two people on a couch or a chair playing video games with, you know, a, a green screen behind me. Um, thank you all for your support. Uh, super shout out, of course, to you know our sponsors who showed up today, Drew and Pizza Ball, and Shadow. 
you guys make the content that we pr produce um, to be able to, to be as current as we can. All those supporters that we have who, you know, give us money um, or time or effort, you know, um, uh, Indigo D, uh, Hobbs for donating his time for the, you know, the streams that we've been doing. Uh, Matt Rayford, who's not here. You know, speaking of Matt and our, our mods, you know, Catwater, Pizza Ball, Shadow, you guys showing up today is super awesome. Uh, I know Potato Sackhead always comes in when he can. Matt always comes in when he can. Hoyt and Prandy and Laura, when they have the time, they pop in. You know, it's just, it's way cool to hear all that. Um, I'm going to be on Discord for a brief minute, Heeman, because I'm going to post the scavenger hunt question. But I got to be in bed in 15 minutes, so... Um, I'm not going to be on there long. I probably won't be chatting um, because I've got stuff that I do every stream. Um, you know, when I say goodbye, the stream is not really over for me. I got to do other things. But um, guys, thank you for everything that you do. I really mean that. This channel could not be as successful without all you guys. Uh, so I'm going to go to bed in a bit. You guys have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever you guys are going to have. Just make sure it's good. This is Mag Synchro saying take care.